Right, I've been building my jungle platform and shelter using the Origin ACAD. This is this one here. And the cookery, which have been absolutely fantastic. I've been chopping now for a couple of days, building this camp up. And the knives are going to need a bit of sharpen. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the new Origin sharpening system. And this will be the first time I've been trying it out and these are two good knives to give it a try on both of them are made of O1 tool steel and they take a good edge relatively quick so let's see how we get on with that so here's the jungle platform I've been building using the ACAD and the Kukri I've just got started really um, but it doesn't look much but there is a fair bit of work went into this clearing the ground Getting all these branches cut to size. There's the start of the platform there that I'll sleep up on. And there's the front support coming back into the triangle shape, secured to the branch here. And here we have the top support that I can put my tarp over. I shall cover this area down here and I also can light a fire underneath. Right, let's see this sharpening system. There's my tools, I need a good sharpening now. The whole sharpening system fits into this small pouch here. This isn't part of the kit, just a small molly bag that I had lying about spare. And it all fits in this. So I'll show you what it comprises of then. So here we have the sharpening kit laid out in front of me and I'll start on the right here and what we can see here is a diamond plated sharpening stone credit card size and on one side we'll have a thousand grit and if I turn that over we'll have 600 grit and this is credit card size so this would fit in your wallet also really handy and it comes in the wee blue pouch here and you could secure that away in your rucksack just as an individual item if you wanted to. The next item I have here is this industrial grade plastic platform that he's got and the centre of it here has a magnet plate sunk into it with four holes and the four holes take the spikes of the next block and you can see that here and I'll just show you these spikes really sharp by the way look at these these are mega sharp right and you can see on the top there we have the velcro and this is micro velcro and that secures the two blocks together and the spikes secure the block into the wood or whatever surface you want to stick it into so you have two of them which fit into each other and I'll just show you that. Right, so there's the two blocks fitted and married into each other. And nice and secure there. You just add your diamond plate, whatever grit you want, facing up the way to the magnetic plate here. And that stays on there nice and secure. And I'll show you that. Right, so here's the block. And they're approximately three inches by two inches wide. And I'll just show you how we fit this plate on top of it. So here we have the thousand grit facing up the way. And you can feel that pull on there. And it fits here nice and secure. Like that. Nice wee fit there. And you can use that as a sharpening surface which I really do like, really good. Right, so here's the diamond plate fitted on top of the first block onto the magnet. And here's the other plate. And we've got two patches of Velcro on the underside here. And all they do is they marry up like this. Oh, these spikes are sharp, so you better watch what you're doing. There you go. The two of them married up together. Nice and secure, they're not going to come apart. Takes a fair bit to put 
pull them apart, okay? So once it's in that position, just put it in, give it a gentle push. Right, so that's it secure. And now look at that, totally solid into the wood with these spikes. You can see them there. So that'll sit on top of a log, no problem. So I'll show you that as well. Right, so here we have the plate mounted on the block with these spikes. And I'll show you how I just secure it into the log. So I've just got a big uh, piece of sycamore here and I'll just secure it in it. So there, just give it a, a slap down. Don't need to do that, just give it a bit of pressure. And you can see that's totally secure now and won't move. Gives you a great wee platform to start your sharpening from. So the next thing in the kit is this here. And that's four lengths of sandpaper at various grits. They're approximately 30 centimetres by 5 centimetres wide. And the grits are one at 400, two, two at 800, and one at 1,000. And on the back of them, they have that industrial Velcro backing, which attaches to the plate here. So that gives you another sharpening surface and these belts here. Now these can be bought in various grits and as much as you like. You just state that at the time when purchasing the sharpening kit. So that's what I've got in here. And the last item is his strop. You see the arm steel and it just hooks over the top of it and keeps it nice and tight in this configuration. I'll show you a quick video of the strop before I brought it out into the field. As you can see, it's got a bit of stropping paste here on the industrial Velcro that he has secured to the back of the strap. Right, let's have a look at that then before I brought it out into the field. So here's the leather strop with the two loops on either end. Just show you that. And these are made of that arm steel material, like a paracord. It's really, really tough, this stuff. And you can see the military grade old green webbing. And this is what the leather has been secured to and obviously has been pinned, these brass pins. This is buffalo hide leather, really tough, this. And you can get whatever leather you want put onto your strop but obviously the price would change you just contact origin and let them know what you want here we go and on the reverse side we have the strap that takes the sandpaper it just attaches to this and this is industrial grade Velcro I'm going to add some green stropping paste to the leather So here's the green compound I'm going to use to put on the leather strop Also available as an extra in the sharpening kit is this ceramic rod. I really like these for apex and unusual shaped blades like a kukri or a bull hook. So this comes in at an additional cost. Also will be available soon will be a ceramic plate much like your DC4 that Fall Niven do but it will fit on top of the plate. Right, so one of the advantages of 
the block system is we can use it as a puck and I've got here the 600 diamond grip plate and I just secure that on here like that you can see it really is secure it's 15 pounds of pressure to release it so if you like myself don't have much nails it can be quite difficult to get off there you go I managed to get my nail under the corner there but once this goes on you can hear it clicking there it's really secure so just adjust it to where you want so what I'm going to do with this is actually use it like a puck on my knife so I'll show you how I'm going to go about doing that so this is the ACAD all I'm going to do is secure it here place this approximately about 30 degrees and I can run over any chips on the blade if I've picked them up say if we're talking say I've struck the floor hitting through roots and I can get all the way up to the tip which is absolutely excellent now you can see my thumb here is a bit close to the plate and the edge as it comes in contact with the blade so what you can do is add another plate on to give you a bit more height and that'll make it a bit more secure for you so I'll show you that right so here's the plate fitted on and just for a bit of security for yourself and a bit of safety here's the spikes place them into the hole there squeeze it together and that'll give you a much larger block to hold on to for a safety point of view it's really good that way and then all we do is take it and get in there and start working at the blade so that gives us a puck that we can use on our blades and also what I'm thinking about here is my axe yeah well you can feel that already so there you go that's done a good job there already on the blade nice and sharp but on the other side and you can see good diamond plate there it's actually coming off you can see the metal so the 600 is quite aggressive so you don't want to be doing too much of it but I can get right to the tip here which is great there we go so one of the jobs that the block can do really good Right, if you're like myself, you don't have much fingernails, what I suggest you do is you just push it across to the side and then lift the plate off. Change it over to the thousand. That's what I'm going to do next. You can hear it there clicking nice and secure. It's definitely going to come off. So get your knife, then go back over it. Just holding it roughly at the same angle as before. Changing sides. So as a puck, yeah, this does great. And a couple of strokes just to get the burrs off. There you go. You can see that plate. So it definitely takes the metal off. Let's have a wee feel. Yeah. That won't take much to get that into shape. Yeah, really good. So there you go, that's it acting as a puck. Right, so what I'm doing is separating the two plates, switching the plates round so the spikes are facing it outwards now, and attaching it to the Velcro on the inside, like so. Give it a quick squeeze. Watch these spikes, they're super sharp. Okay, so that's secured the two blocks together now. And then what I'll do is I'll secure it to the top of a tree and that'll give us a nice sharpening platform there that we can do like our scandy blades on if you have a scandy geometry on your blade that you're using in the field right so let's see how that's done go on sharpen it just using it as a straight block on top of this log So 
so it's nice and secure here doing a good job and you can feel the diamonds cutting at that steel and it's marking up the plate so it's given us a bigger surface than my fall niven DC4 that I have which is good Why? Right, that's no far off of here, shaving sharp already. That's good. Right, so that's one way of using. There you go. Sticks in nice and secure. It's one way of using this. Right, another way to use the block is just separate it until it exposes this industrial velcro set that to the side and then all you do then is place in your sandpaper watching these spikes again and then place that into the wood then away you go same again give you another sharpening system but this time using the wet and dry sandpaper and working at the edge where you want it you can see that working really good and then you would just change this off and work your way through the grits on the sandpaper that you've taken out to the field and that you've bought in the system. This really is sticky stuff because you can see everything's sticking to it. It's so sticky. It's quite unusual because it's, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up in the camera, but it's almost like it's hairs rather than hooks and loops. But it really does work. So there you go, stick that on there, like that, and you also can use that as a puck also, working away, like that. Here we have the Velcro which will stick on the back of the strop, so we'll turn it over like so. So pick the grade that you want, I'm happy enough with how sharp the blade is at actually at the moment that I'm going to go straight on to a thousand grit and here just make sure you get it right to the edges and there you can actually hear it separate right so that's when they're nice and secure just get a quick rub over and then it'll look like that and then take your knife so get your fingers through it, get a good tight pull, just attach it to a branch like I have at the other side here, up here, and then place your knife on it, there we go, and back up, and just work away at that until you get the edge that you require for the jobs that you're doing and then it's just as simple as changing the velcro over and you're happy enough with the edge yeah so that's getting there Oof, really sharp up there and all I do then is just take it off like so and change it over You can see the edge that that's bringing up. I don't know if you'll pick up in this light. So it's really starting to polish up the edge. Happy with that. Then all I do from there is take the straw up, take off the loop, turn it round, hook it onto my branch. And then this is the side that I've already got the paste done on, on here. And then just the same again. 
up and down. And just keep working at that until you're happy with the edge that's going to work for you in the field. Don't know if you can make this out, but let's put a polished edge on that. It's really sunny here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. And I've run out of hairs on my arms to shave off, so let's see if it's going to work on my legs. Look at that. Now there you go, definitely hair shaving sharp. That's such a scary sharp. Oof. Ceramic rod with the kukri, as I say, this is really good for apex and I find with the ceramic rods, especially unusual shaped blades like a kukri or a bill hook. So let's see how we get on with that. Yep, you can tell by the sound and you can see that the metal is taking off, that it's actually doing the job. Nice. So that's nice and convenient way. Apex and an edge. The origin knife sharpening system. A lot of variety there, and it covers a lot of different types and styles of blade when it comes to sharpening. So, which is really good. And I got hair shaving results for my first time trying it. Really pleased at that. Really convenient. You don't need to take it out of the field. As a complete system, you can take out individual parts that suit you. So I found the diamond plates and that stropping built really good, uh, especially with the sandpaper that could be interchanged. So that seemed to bring up the results really fast. And the way that this block works with the magnetic plate is fantastic. And it's also very convenient when it came to using the ceramic rod on my cookery. I just kept apex in the edge and kept it sharp while building my shelter. So I'm happy with that overall. Now obviously I'll take a bit of time to get used to all the different bits that comes with it. And get used to using them on different tools. And I want to see how it's going to do with my axe, especially in the pop mode. So let us know what you think about it and I'll catch you all in my next video. Cheers.